So you've seen all the other engineering students around you getting perfect grades, developing experience, and absolutely killing it in university. And consequently, you start to doubt yourself. But little do you know that every single engineer who has done great things in this world has once doubted themselves in the same way that you are right now. Yet they still went on to innovate the earth around us and develop the technologies that we depend on today. My name is Aaron. I'm a third year mechanical engineering student at a top university in my country. I've built projects on my own, worked with personal clients to do CAD work, and landed internships way faster than anyone around me. So listen closely because I know the exact reason that you feel behind as an engineering student. What if I told you that you have been lied to as an engineering student about how getting the perfect report card and perfect GPA is somehow supposed to get you towards your dream career? Because that's the truth. You've been absolutely lied to. Thinking that grades was the, the pinnacle of uh, succeeding in engineering school, but it's not. Don't lie to me. You thought that grades would get you your dream career. You thought that grades would make you stand out to recruiters, but it doesn't. And at this point, you might be thinking like, oh, this guy's probably someone who failed through university and even high school, but I'm not. I've got well over above average grades. I've got A's in most of my classes, but I absolutely mean it. When those grades meant jack shit towards the career development that got me to the point that I'm at today, where I'm working internships, where I've worked with my own personal clients to do freelancing CAD work, the point where I've built projects on my own time and implemented the theoretical knowledge that I learned from my classes. I've done all that and my grades did not contribute to it at all, not one bit. But it was rather my initiative that made me stand out as an engineering student, okay? And your classes that you're doing right now, that's not initiative. Listening to someone else give you instructions is not initiative at all. You're being 100% dependent on someone else. You're being like, oh, he's my assignment, Mr. Teacher. He's my exam, Mr. Teacher. He's an apple. Bro, this isn't high school anymore. You're a grown ass man or woman in university. So stop believing that grades is gonna define your success in your career as an engineer and start to take initiative to develop the skills that your classes simply can't teach you. And you know, you could argue like, oh, the problem solving skills that you got from uh, doing your assignments might've helped, but that's all the advantages were to getting high grades. And if you still don't believe me, look at any job posting out there for an engineering position. Look at the job description. You're not gonna see any of them want someone with some perfect 4.0 GPA. Look at any internship posting now for an engineering student you'll also see that they're not looking for someone with a 4.0 GPA or a perfect report card or a straight A's. They're looking for someone who has deeper levels of skill, not just the theoretical knowledge from your classes, because everyone, literally all of the hundreds of other students in your class take the same classes as you. So what makes you think that getting high grades in these classes is going to make you stand out if pretty much everyone else does? People work hard for high grades. People fucking cheat for high grades. They all look the same in the eyes of a recruiter when you send your transcript to them. Now as a disclaimer, I'm not saying that you just fail all of your classes, slack off in class and fucking skip your classes, but I'm saying that you have to do more things than the bare minimum of your standard work in your standard classes that the university provides to you. And the way to do this is to essentialize other things other than your classes, other than your assignments, other than studying for exams. What I mean by working towards other things is developing experience. And experience is another reason that you feel so behind as an engineering student and you see people who are so far ahead of you. And the truth is, they are ahead of you if they have experience. Because what gets you a job in the engineering industry once again? Experience. And if somebody has more experience than you, then they're obviously ahead of you. So you need to start developing your experience by doing things like projects. And there are three projects that I really highlight inside of my program linked down below, which helps you develop your experience as an engineering student. And those three projects are group projects, design club projects, and personal projects. Now, I really, really highly recommend that you do personal projects, but because this speaks most initiative out of all of them, because group projects, they're assigned to you by your teachers. Design club projects, uh, these projects are assigned to you from other students, but then personal projects, it literally says personal in the name and look at any job posting once again, you'll see that they're looking for someone with initiative, self-drive, self-motivation. So stop the excuses of, oh, you need experience to get more experience? That's bullshit. You can develop experience on your own. 
You're just too dumb and complaining too much to see it. Look, man, you're a smart engineering student who is watching more engineering content on your free time. You're passionate about engineering, so it shouldn't be that hard to make these projects on your own. Look at what I did. My projects weren't so large at all. I just made CAD models of uh, mechanisms, machinery, and then it kind of did get a bit more complex when I started to implement gear, princip gear principles and fluid mechanics principles. And sure, it might take time. Sure, it might be a bit hard at sometimes, but you're gonna learn from these experiences which were difficult. So it'll all be worth it because this project experience is what's gonna get you your first internship. I asked my uh, boss at my current internship that I'm working at right now, what made me stand out as an engineer student most? And he told me it was the fact that I had these projects, that I took initiative and I was willing to learn because of it. Now I know what you're thinking at this point. You're thinking, oh, what kinds of projects should I make? What kinds of skills should I use? What kinds of practical knowledge from my classes should I uh, take into consideration? I know the questions you're thinking. I've seen the comments, but these are the questions that I answer inside of my program linked down in the description. I even have weekly calls where I speak with the people inside of the community and guide you and give you pertinent feedback that you could uh, practically take. And then the projects that you work on will then help you towards your dream career. You'll get an internship and then that internship will help you uh, get your dream position. So click the link in the description, check it out. Oh, how inaccurate it is to compare yourself to other engineering students. There was this one friend that I met on my first, I think, week of university. Uh, we'll name him Ben. Ben was this dude from India and he was in the CBSC education program. CBSC means Central Board of Secondary Education. This is the top sort of uh, education system in India. It's like the um, IB version of India if you're American. But when I first met this guy, he was like so cocky. He was like, oh yeah, I was uh, super smart in high school. I studied like eight hours a day. I'm ready for engineering, bro. This is gonna be easy. And I was like, damn, this dude's smart as hell. And you know, it kind of made me like a bit lower of myself because he spoke like this. He was like, oh, I already know all of these concepts of the linear algebra. I know advanced calculus, all of these kinds of things. And then the more I started to hang out with him, the more I started to do assignments with him in the library, I started to notice him taking a bit of shortcuts. He was asking Google for uh, the answers to his questions. He was looking for PDFs online. And I hung out with him more and more and he was using Chegg. Chegg is a, if you don't know, it was a website that literally gives you assignments for your fucking assignments. And this motherfucker Ben was using those online resources to fucking cheat on his assignments. Now, online resources, they could be useful at times. Even ChatGPT, they could be useful. They have a time and place, but your assignments is not one of them. Solving for your assignments is not one of them. While you just sit back, eat fucking chips and do jack shit. That's not the way to engineer. Engineering is supposed to be hard, okay? Don't fucking cheat on your assignments. Ben was what I call now a pretend engineer. Someone that uh, doesn't do engineering school the right way and acts without integrity. A bit of a tangent there, but what I'm meaning to say is that you shouldn't compare yourself to people that you don't even know. You don't know what goes on in their head. You don't know if they're actually fucking smart or not. You don't know who the fuck they are, okay? So when you're scrolling on LinkedIn, Stop comparing yourself to this person who's like, oh, I got an internship. I'm getting more experience than you. <laughs> Stop comparing yourself who get internships way easier than you because those people might even have connections to the um, engineering field. Maybe their fucking dad is a CEO of an engineering company. You don't know who these people are that you're comparing yourself to, okay? You know who I'm talking about. That guy that you saw on LinkedIn. This guy that sits at the front of the class and fucking answers every question. You compare him. You compare yourself to him. You compare yourself to everyone around you but you don't even know those people around you. So stop, okay? It's an inaccurate comparison. If you need further help as an engineering student, I really think that you should join the community because I'm trying to assemble all of these other engineers who are watching these types of videos and into a single community. And I think you would be a really fucking good fit because you're watching more engineering content on your own free time. Like your own precious free time, dude. Like respect to you, man, respect to you, bro. If you're interested, the community is linked down in the description as part of the program that I mentioned earlier. Can't wait to see you inside. I'll see you next time.